Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe button down below and click the bell right beside it to know when I post a new video. And as you guys see by the title, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the rating the 2021 VMA looks. So I know that the VMAs have already passed and this is kind of like irrelevant, you could say. And I also wanted to say that my opinion doesn't really matter because I am in no way, shape or form a fashion designer or a celebrity but i mean some of the fits were just not it so i might just give my you know honest opinion on all of them and i also want to say i might not know all these celebrities names because like i don't know i just might not know it like this first person i'm pretty sure i don't know who she is and yeah that's enough disclaimers for this video but with all that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and get into the video so let's go ahead and rate these vma 2021 looks. okay so i have the pictures right here on my tablet i'm gonna put them up on the screen every time it goes to a new person so this first person i don't know who she is i'm so sorry to whoever this person is yeah i don't know who it is at all but she got on the little red petals with the little stripes i don't know how i feel about it i think it looked kind of it looked kind of stupid I feel like it would look better if the stripes wasn't there, like the little black lines, because it looks like she just like got like licorice and put it on her neck, and then she got she went to her backyard, got roses, and just started gluing it on her body. Like I don't know, I just don't like it. So one out of ten, I give it a, I give it a, mm, I give it a six. I don't know, it's just so bad. The only thing I like about it is the shoes, and she's very pretty. That's it. Next. Okay, so next we got one of the Williams. I'm pretty sure that is Serena. I'm so sorry if I said the wrong Williams sister. They look like twins to me. So, yeah. Anyway, she's got on this basic little red dress. It's nothing I can really say bad about it because it's just a dress. So, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. I feel like she could have at least... She could have she could have did a little something, something. The earrings give her a little bit more to the dress. But even then, she could have at least put like, you know, a little necklace or something to make it flash more because... It's cute, but it's just giving me like Sunday church shopping. And this is the VMAs. Anyways, next we got Pharrell and his girlfriend, wife. I don't even know who this lady is. I just know Pharrell, of course. They outfits look so ridiculous. I'm so sorry, but I literally hate it. They look like freaking musketeers. Just me and my twin in them. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this is. She looks like she's about to like just trample him. Like, she looks like she's, like, the dominant person in their relationship. Anyways, um, I give this outfit a six. The only reason I give it a six is because they matching. That's literally it. It's just, I just hate the outfit so, so much. I don't know what it is. I think it's, it's Pharrell's glasses. Like, what are those? Why are they so small? Like, I don't know what they thought it was going into, but it wasn't a VMAs, okay? That's all I got to say about that. Next outfit we have, I keep forgetting her name. I know who she is. Yeah, I don't even know her name. I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know my celebrities, like, at all. I know who she is. I think her name is Winnie. Yeah, I think her name is Winnie, because I know because of, like, her thing right there. Yeah, I think her name is Winnie. Anyways, um, I don't know what's going on with her outfit, like, at first when I looked at it, I thought it was zebra. Now that I'm looking back at it, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what kind of, like, print it is. It's like, I like it, but I don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because the side over here with that big, big blotch of black puffiness, it looks weird. And then the other side is just nothing there. Like, it's just, it don't go together to me. So, it's like, I like the fit, but I don't. So, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's because I see, I mean, I see, I see what they try to do there, but it just wasn't accomplished. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's go to the next one. Ooh, we got my favorite, Simone Biles. I love Simone. Duh. But girl, like I love you, but girl, what the frick is that? Why the heck you got two big bumps on your hips? Like she looks so great, but the outfit is just not it. It like it need to belong on like a bootleg Cinderella. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, it. I just don't like this. I like the color. I like the silver sparkliness, but the outfit itself is horrible. I'm like, I'm so sorry. If she would have had the silver dress part more, 
I don't know, in more, not like a big hump on her. I would have loved the outfit because the shirt under the dress is cute. But that big dress and the hump is just throwing me off so much. So I'm so sorry, but I'm giving this outfit a five. And I know I've been giving all these really low ratings, but I just, I just don't like them. I really don't. Next, we got the freaking Kim Kardashian. I don't even have to speak on this. Like, why is she looking like my shadow right now? Oh, like, oh gosh. I don't know what Kim be doing, but that girl is on some weird stuff. I don't even think that's Kim. Like, what is this? But I'm going to give it, you know what? I'm going to give it a 10 just because of how iconic this look is. Not because of the look, because she's literally wearing sheets right now. I'm giving it a 10 because it blew up and everybody's been talking about this little look. Okay guys, so the next look we have is Kendall Jenner. So I love Kendall like so much. Just for that, I'm giving her a 10. Like do y'all see this? Her look is amazing. The sparkles look gorgeous on her. I love the little see-through action we got going on. I love the little necklace, like everything. It's just a 10 out of 10. Nobody can compete with Kendall. Like, I feel like I don't even have to explain much on it. You should know it's a 10. Actually, broke the scale 10. Like, I just love everything about her fit. She came to the VMAs and she showed out. And it's just that. Next, we have um, the girl off of Wakanda. I don't know why, but I really think her name is Lapita. Something like that. I know I probably messed that all the way up. But I feel like that's her name. Okay, but aside from that, it's like... I see what she was trying to do with like the hair and like the outfit. Like I know with the hair she was trying to do like black type like culture and like putting uh, black people out there like cause people don't want to wear their natural hair. I get that and trust me I fully understand that cause I don't like wearing my natural hair. But it just, I just don't like it with the VMAs look. I'm so like I know it was supposed to be a good approach behind the idea but I really don't like it. Um, and the dress. It's giving me 2000s team mom mixed with clubbing. Like the jeans mixed with that little, like the jean outfit mixed with the sparkles. I just, I don't know. I'm going to give it an 8.5 just because I love the little thing she had going with it. And I know like what kind of approach she was trying to go for. So I feel like that makes it better. But looks wise, it looked a little bit weird. But I love her, so I'm going to give it, what I said, I think I said 8.5. So I'm going to give it 8.5. But just know I'm kind of iffy on that. Next we have, who the heck is that? I'm pretty sure that's Erica Badu. I'm not sure because I can't see her face. But I remember people talking about Erica Badu wearing some kind of crazy stuff. And she usually wear very crazy things. I'm pretty sure that's Erica Badu. So, and that's a little Uzi Vert in the back of her. But anyways, um, I rate... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't even write her fit. It's so funny. Um, I'm. You know what? I'm writing it a nine. I, I don't even care. I'm writing it a nine because it's just hilarious to look at. Like I don't even know if that's like a, because it looked like a doll purse, but on the other hand, it looks like a gun. I don't really know. I know it looks like it is a doll, but it looks like a gun to me. Anyways, um, she looks like she belonged on Cinderella, but she like she's the clock in Cinderella. Like they twenty right now. And I don't know, every time she come up with something, it always be so, like, different. That's what I like about her. Like, she just wears some crazy, crazy stuff. And it, she be rocking it, though. The, the little nest she got going on around her head is giving me stay away from me COVID-19. You know, we live for that. So that's why I'm giving it. What did I say I was giving it? I don't even know. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 just because I love how iconic all her fits be. And who don't like her? Like, come on. Next, we have Chloe and Haley or Hallie or Hal. I don't know how she say her name, but I love both of the fits. I know people have been saying that their fits are like ugly or like hers, like the pink outfit is kind of bad, but I love their fits. Like I love both of them individually. I give the white fit a freaking 10, 12, 1,000 out of 10. I give the pink fit, I give the pink fit a nine out of 10. I like it, but not as much as I like the other one. But they both look very pretty. Their hair is gorgeous. Like they're giving you body, everything. So their fits is on the highest of my scale right now. And whoever said they fits was bad, you're blind. Like, how can you say that? Let me go ahead to my next one. We have Gabrielle Union. Now, I love Gabrielle Union. She would be in all my favorite movies. She's a great actor. But the shirt is giving me plastic cups, cookout, solo cups. Like, I 
I just don't know. But it's also giving me peacock. Like, I don't... <sighs> I'm trying to decide. Because the more I look at it, I kind of like it more. I just like her part from, like, the chest on down to her waist and just stop right there. I don't like the bottom, but I like the top middle part of her. That's it. I don't like the little peacock in the back. I don't like that. But I feel like she had a vision. It was executed that well, but it's not that bad. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 7.5. That's kind of a good rating to me because it's like I like it. But it's just something about it that I don't like. So that's what is going a little low. And then the next person we have is Megan the Stallion. Ah. So y'all, if you don't like Megan, get out. Anyways, Megan Fit, I think, I mean, I like it. It's just giving me like 2014 freshman prom. Because like I wouldn't even wear that and I'm 14 years old. and It's just ugly to me. But it's kind of cute on her. I'm going to give it a 9. Just because, I mean, I like the color. It's not too bad. It's like, it's not ugly at all. But it's just not something I would like and I would wear. But she's pulling it out very well. And I really like Megan Thee Stallion. Like, I know all her songs. So that's why I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And then I'm going to go to my last person for today. My last person for today is Billie Eilish. I freaking love Billie Eilish. Like, I know she's very controversial. And um, I don't like the stuff that she be doing. But I love her music, and I, I mean, I like her as a person, kind of, but she's late to VMAs. She's been really getting out of her comfort zone, because she's not wearing dresses and tight stuff like that. But now, it's like a whole 360, and I am living for it, okay? I am living for it. Her fit, I give it a 10 out of 10. She definitely did not come to play with these VMAs, and that dress is just so elegant, and it's ballroom, and she just... She just took over the VMAs with that dress. Like, it just said, look at me. And the picture she took, like, the little pose, the hair she took is just amazing. It's giving me Marilyn Monroe. That's why I'm giving her fit a 10 out of 10. But, guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you all enjoyed my ratings. I spoke the honest truth on all these ratings. If you disagree or agree, make sure to tell me down below and tell me whose fit was the best out of everybody's in this video. If you like a part two, um, please let me know because there's a lot more people that I did not do and I already have them saved. So I can definitely bring that video to y'all if you guys want it. And it's Hashtag Net Time. Bye.